If you've ever done cut work or reverse applique, you know exactly how difficult it is to cut just the fabric away you want cut away and not anything else. Well, we're here to make your life a little bit easier with a product called Fiber Etch. Fiber Etch removes plant fibers, only plant fibers, things like cotton, linen, rayon, um, rainy, or blends that are 50%. And we're going to show you how it's done. Sew a design off on your fabric. Make sure you use 100% polyester thread, a metallic thread with a polyester core, or a nylon. Take your fiber etch, snip the tip off, and go over your fabric, gently putting down a bead against the stitching that you want removed. Rub it in with the tip of the bottle so it's good and nice and tong into those fibers. When you have all your area finished, just let it dry. Once it's dry, take your fabric to your ironing board, put your iron on wool and no steam, and iron it. It's better if you iron it from the reverse side, but if you have a good pressing sheet, you can do it from the regular side. And you're going to know when it's ready to go because with your finger, you're going to be able to just move that fabric out of the way. When you have all your fabric done, and you can see it's all pulling away nicely, just rinse it under water, and it's all going to wash away. And your end result is going to look like this. No cut work, with scissors at least, but a beautiful effect. You can also do a layered effect by using cotton and polyester. So it's the same thing, but now we have a colored background instead. Sometimes, though, you just can't find a polyester fabric you really like, and you're going to have to use cotton. Now, since this eats through cotton, what are you going to do? Well, get some water-soluble stabilizer and put it between your two layers of cotton. And then do exactly the same thing, just like we did here. We've got a great reverse applique work without having to use our scissors. Maybe you'd like to do it on something heavier. Well, how about denim? Same process. Denim is 100% cotton. Our pink fabric is 100% polyester. We sewed, we used fiber etch, we heat activated, and we washed it away. Maybe your kids or you are really into the new DeVore or burnout look with your jeans. Well, you could do it easily with fiber etch. We just sat there and drew a design, heat activated it, and that's what you get. This one's a little more blended and I'm not sure you can see, but we've got great remnants left over here from where we've removed the fabric. And here's one more for you. Same thing, all we did was dab it on, let it dry, heat activate it, and wash it off. Now if you think it's only for cottons and plain fabrics, I got a surprise for you. Take a look at this. This is a gorgeous velvet scarf. We used fiber etch on it, heat activated it, and washed away the extra velvet. Same with this one here, which is even more stunning when you look at it. It's a beautiful, beautiful effect. We just used one of our patterns. We applied the fiber etch to the velvet side, let it dry, heat activated it, and washed it away. This is a great, simple way to get some breathtaking effects without a lot of work. Fiber